We are back with another cloudy European battlefield. This is Napoleon Total War 3 vs 3, and we are using a mod called Darth Mod Napoleon Hardcore Realism. So on one side of the battlefield, we have two Prussian armies who are strutting down the open field with their beautiful blue Prussian uniforms. And we cannot forget their ally, the Austrian Empire, who will be joining them in this glorious fight. But this fight will be no cakewalk as they are taking on mighty empires, which includes the United Kingdom, the Russian Empire, and a strange but no less threatening alliance with Poland. This battlefield is mostly open, but there are patches of trees and strategic villages. Now, I don't know who's going to win this battle, but I do know whoever gains control and maintains these strategic villages will most likely be victorious. So here we are, guys, on the battlefield, and it starts with instant bloodshed. First off, the Prussians are uh, going right towards the center of the battlefield with a massive force of Cav. Of course, we have the famous Prussian death heads Look at these guys. These uniforms are the sickest uniforms. Oh my god. Love the death head style. The all black, the skulls on their hats. Very, very cool. So they're rushing out with Cav at the beginning. On the other side, of course, uh, the British are, uh, are getting ready to confront them. Now, uh, the reason I said it starts with instant bloodshed is because over here, the Russians have a vanguard Cav force. They are known as the First St. Petersburg Cossacks. Uh, they charge out of the tree line here to surprise the Austrians, but this really isn't going to lead to anything. We're having some sound issues here, so uh, don't worry about that. It will fix itself, but the Austrians are going to go ahead and send in their cav. I don't really see them... Uh, you know, I think they should have waited, maybe look for like an artillery opportunity, take out some artillery. That doesn't really lead anything. It does slow down the Austrians a little bit. And then here's the Prussian second army who's moving up some cav because... We go back over towards the center. We are going to get our first cab engagement. Look at all this cab. One, two, three, four, five units of cab ready to charge it. Look, the British are even like, I don't know about this as they're charging in. We got the 15th Hussars going against the Death Heads. They probably saw those skulls on their helmets uh, or their hats and they're like, yeah, I don't know about this. Uh, but yeah, this is a mod that we're playing on. It's called Darth Mod uh, Realistic, like Hardcore Realistic or Hardcore Realism. It's kind of like a blend. It's like a, it's like the halfway point between um, NTW3 and Vanilla, where if you don't want it super duper realistic like NTW3, but you want it more realistic than napoleon total war vanilla then this is probably the mod for you it's very easy to install as well and there we go another victory for the prussian cav and i don't know what the british are doing right now they're just kind of sending in cav to their deaths which is uh never a good sight but uh we'll see if the the british cav the lifeguards very good cav unit let's see if they can kind of win this engagement here and hold back the Prussians, it doesn't look like it because they're about to be surrounded by a ton of Prussian cav. Now we have even more. It's just the the British seem like they're just sending cav one by one instead of a united force. Which is making it very easy for the Prussians to take care of. Here's the second Prussian army moving in. So they're going to clean up that cav. Um... We do have a unit that I believe is breaking. So they do, they they are able to break some Prussian cab. Now we have the Russians in here as, as well. The lifeguard Hussars who are actually turning the tide of this cab engagement. Oh my goodness. Just instant cab battle. Oh, oh, a really good artillery strike on this huge clumping of Prussian cab. Uh, that's that was huge. I don't know where that artillery. Oh here it is British artillery back here. Oh Yeah, British six-pounder foot artillery in position opening fire There's some really good marching music to this mod that I really enjoy That the King's German uh, Legion foot were about to kill their own 
being uh, German and all. Uh, now the Prussians are making a very bold move here. They're gonna—they actually uncovered some rifles. Let's see if they can get a good charge on these rifles. There's no stakes, so they don't have to worry about that. So in the tree line, they take on the rifles. And then we have the second cab unit trying to make a bold dash for the British artillery, but that does not lead to anything as the British, uh, the British form square and are able to protect their artillery. So that looks like most of that cav engagement fighting is going to come to a close here as both sides really, you know, both sides, I would say mostly the British kind of lost, you know, they, they, they took a ton of damage in terms, in terms of their cav, they took a ton of damage. But uh, at the end there, uh, with the help of the Russians, they were able to take out some Prussian Cav. And speaking of Prussian Cav, we've got some Hussars, two units of Hussars making their way across the center, using the town to kind of conceal their movement. I think the British can see them coming, though. Uh, we'll see if they uh, go for a Cav charge. So the Prussians do not go for a cav charge. They have their cav set up over here and just kind of giving you a bird's eye view of the current situation of the placements of where these armies are. The British have set up their main line in this tree line and where this uh, little creek is running through it. They might advance past it to en engage the Prussians, but it looks like the British have been really just smacking down the Prussian lines with their six pounder foot artillery. Uh, you can see that the Prussians don't really like it. I don't know exactly what the Prussians are doing, but they are falling back. I don't know why. Uh, I guess they feel like they're too far away from their allies, and they're going to disengage from the fight. And he's also got half of his army shifting over to, this would be his right. So he's going towards the Austrian cab. So Austria is making their way towards the front line as well. You can see their army is back here. We have the second Prussian army who's going way left and is pro most likely going to link up with the first. Prussian army and probably set up around where my mouse cursor is more and more British forces are advancing upon this small village over here now if I am not mistaken they are playing for points there's different locations that are worth different points the current location over here where the Prussians hold is worth three points so this is a major point of contention uh, now we of course have other points as well this one's worth one this is behind the three-pointer uh, over here we've got a one-pointer which looks like the Austrians are controlling with their cav. Uh, the Austrians have a huge force of this Austrian Emperor's own. Very cool looking cav. Uh, but yeah, they're kind of controlling this side. Uh, we'll see what happens here. The, the British and Russian forces need to make a move here if they want to uh, win this battle. And, and they need to just control some of... Uh, you know the sections of this map. We also have finally the Russian forces. They're setting up their artillery We finally uh, see them in action and of course the uh, Polish are here and they are finally in range. They are finally um, You know we can finally see their forces advance. Look at these guys Oh, and they disappeared. <laughs> but they are advancing forward and most likely will be uh, engaging on, I guess this would be like the, uh, this would be the left flank from their perspective. But no gunfire, no uh, gunshots yet. Oh wait, hold that thought. We've got a huge Russian line right behind the British. The British are gonna form squares. The Prussians make a bold charge and pew 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 yeah the sound effect uh glitches out again but don't worry it should fix itself soon so i don't know what they were trying to do there but that was kind of a wasted charge by the prussians uh the british are going to go ahead and form back into their line formation i guess they're just trying to hold off this advance they're trying to slow down the british i'm not really sure because this other prussian army is making their way the austrians need to advance forward we have the other section of the first prussian army headed over to this side of the fight i think he just wants to gain control of this building potentially this is the capture building this is worth one point and i think the prussians are going to make a move for it and here we go the first first of uh, gunfight here underway between infantry and unfortunately, man, Napoleon sound is just total nightmare sometimes. It just doesn't want to work. Uh, but they are making a charge, Landwehr, making a charge for the building. I don't think they're going to be able to take it, but 
We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh my god, look at this charge. It it's it would be way more epic if there was sound. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, this uh, this building defense up here is not helping them whatsoever. Uh, the Prussians, that is. Uh, meanwhile, the Polish have pushed forward their cab, and it looks like they might square up against this Austrian cab. We'll see how that progresses. But yeah, sure enough, the Prussians are breaking. That was a crazy charge. I'm not sure why he charged in there. Now we have another unit of line infantry. These are Prussian Fusiliers, a little bit more experienced than the uh, Landwehr. Uh, but they're going to go ahead and charge as well, it looks like. But uh, they're getting chewed up. Yeah, smart play, fall back. Oh, no, he's sending in another unit. He's sending in the Swiss line. So there goes the Swiss. Uh, again, I don't think they're going to be able to, to do it. I just don't think they can pull it off. Okay, let's go elsewhere around the battlefield where the Russians are shifting their line infantry to the right to square up with the uh, the Prussians. This is the second Prussian army. Uh, over here, we have the Austrians making their way as well. Uh, so they're going to be pushing forward and trying to uh, support the uh, Prussians who are fighting over this town here. All right, now we can kind of hear the shots a little bit. Um, I like mess with the sound settings a little bit. I think that kind of fixes it. Uh, but yeah, they are in a pretty tough fight here. It's a, it's a choke point kind of fight between the Prussians and the British. And the Prussians keep hitting this building like waves of the ocean. Oh, and then retreats back <laughs> from the shore. Uh, and they have invisible torsos. Uh-oh, hopefully I installed the mod correctly. But yeah, it's still a close fight over here, but the British are going to go ahead and send up reinforcements. The Swiss are really good, um, but I don't know if they're good enough to take it. And it makes it, with them being the Swiss, they're both wearing red uniforms. It makes it very confusing who's who. Uh, but yeah, they're fighting the good fight there. Uh, the Prussians, I'm sorry, the Polish are setting up their lines looking ready to have an open field battle let's zoom around over on the other side of the battlefield where things are getting very spicy uh the prussians are opening fire on the russians but the russians have decided to go for a bayonet charge and an earthquake apparently is uh affecting this battlefield jeez uh, let's see if they can hold it. They are charging um, grenadiers, so that's going to be pretty tough to fight through. And we also have a cav force that looked like they snuck around the uh, Prussian lines. And we have some infantry and Prussian uh, cav trying to hold back the Russian cav forces. And we have the Russian general getting involved as well. This huge melee is just insane. It's still going on. And then look at all the smoke here. Look at this. Huge clouds of smoke. And we've got the Prussians trying to hold this line against overwhelming numbers. Interesting use of uh, musket sounds, that's for sure. Half the time they aren't working. So they might, as a, unless I installed it incorrectly. Oh wait, hold on. Enemy general killed. Oh, the Russian general. I don't know why he's being so reckless. The Russian general who's been fighting in the back lines. We have the Prussian general over here fighting him. Whoa. What the heck is going on? Yeah, they are, uh, they're putting up a good fight right here. 
but I don't think it's gonna be enough. And with the death of a general, the Prussian infantry, yep, he uses Inspire. He inspires his men to keep fighting on because the Russian general has fallen. News is getting out and the Prussian soldiers are inspired, but they gotta be careful. There's uh, more, there's Moscow musketeers and there's Russian, it looks like, yeah, grenadiers. They are gonna need more support here if they're gonna maintain this line. It's gonna be a brutal fight for them. Uh, they've got to do something about it. And over here, what is this? Just, I feel like I'm watching Medieval 2 Total War. Just so many melee fights going on. It's kind of crazy. And now we've got the Prussian foot guard in the mix. We've got some units in the back opening fire. So they're fighting the British for this town. Over on this side, the Austrians got some Hungarian Fusiliers so the fight in the uh, center right you could say is starting to pick up here and over on this side we have more Austrians getting into formation and the Polish the Polish are releasing hate down the battlefield with their six pounder foot artillery Which I wish we could hear it, but the sound is just total freak out. And it looks like, it looks like the Prussians are going to gain control of this, this building. That's huge because they still control this building right here, which of course gives them the three points. But the British are on their doorstep quite literally, and they are going to be getting ready to try to fight for it and get it back to get those three points. These gunshots are very underwhelming. <laughs> I hope they change that in this mod. Now the Russians, even though, look at the chaos here, even though they, oh my God, look at the amount of bodies. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, even though the Russians, um, their general falls, uh, they are still uh, making great uh, progress in pushing back the Prussian lines. And they're even going for a melee charge. That's all we're seeing in this battle, a melee charge for this artillery. The artillery, unfortunately, is not going to be able to uh, get a couple of canister shots off. And that's going to uh, lead to a loss of Prussian artillery. The Prussians need to stop the bleeding here. But I don't see any reserves here. This is going to be a problem. Look at this. This is going to be a huge problem. The Russians just charging in their melee. Massive bayonet charges. The British are going to continue to stand here and hold off and keep the Prussian lines busy. Actually, cancel that. They're going to drop. They're going to stop reloading and go for, I guess drop the bayonet if you know what I mean like you know what I mean like have the bayonet in front as they charge I don't even know what I'm trying to say here but yeah they're gonna go ahead and join their Russian allies in this glorious bayonet charge the, the Royal Highland foot they know what to do with the bayonet And yeah, the Prussians are getting uh, pushed back very effectively here. Uh, if the Prussian and Austrian alliance are going to win this battle, they need to win it here. And it definitely looks like they're doing pretty well. Keep in mind, you know, they, they push back the British from this building. They cleaned up this choke point. Now that all that really stands in their way are the Polish. So Poland... Is a very healthy army. They have yet to see much action other than artillery fire, you know, firing down on the Austrian lines. I think what they're hoping with this artillery is to push and like they're hoping to cause the Prussians and Austrians to get uncomfortable and push forward to try to silence the artillery. But so far they're stand they stand like a statue as they take on that um, that Polish artillery fire. Now, Austria has, well, Austria is not going to let this fall so easily. Uh, he's got Hungarian Fusiliers making their way to the three-point village 
Uh, so we got the first regiment of Emperor Zone. Look at these guys. He's like, wait, don't wait for me. Don't, or wait for me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay, there they go. So they're getting into position. Uh, thankfully, they still have artillery over here. I don't know what they're firing at, actually. It looks like they're aimed. Looks like they're going, like, for Poland way down there, but that's probably not the case. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see if Austria has enough here to um, protect this building. Now, the Prussians still control this farmhouse. This is the three-point farmhouse. Uh, but they only have, like, one or two units of infantry left. So we'll see if um, Prussia can hold this off. But it's going to be tough. Austria needs to get over there quickly and hope that they can help them out in, in defending that village. If I'm Poland, I think I would get pretty aggressive here. I don't think I would sit back. But, hey, it's paying off because Austria is now advancing. I don't know if they're going to fully advance. But they are getting closer to the Polish army. And I think they are getting a little tired of that artillery. But, yeah, if I'm Poland, I would get aggressive here because... You've got a partial army of Prussia and Austria. I think you can beat them with your solid army of Polish here. And if you beat them, you can take control of this village. And even Austria is falling back more men. So seeing them fall back these troops makes me wonder if Austria is actually going to push. I think they're just going to defend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just going to defend there. And we've got four units of Austrian line infantry making their way to try to fight back for this village. Yeah, the sound is really weird in this mod. Very weird. And there we go. Shots are being fired as Austria uh, opens up. What is going on? Why can't I hear the gunfire? Like, if so, this is what I do. I I go to options. I go to sound. I mean, I put it on that. I don't know. I guess I could increase the memory. Let's see if that works. Okay. And there we go. There we go. I think that just fixed it. Very nice. Oh my god, that's so much better. I'm so sorry about that. And the British are in a tough firefight. This long, tall grass near the, uh, the creek here. This little river going through the battlefield. This is such an important battle. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, seeing that horse run from out of nowhere through the smoke, then dies, it's so sad. So intense fighting going on. Austria actually looks like they're doing a very good job here. And now Russia is making a mad dash into the village to try to gain control of the buildings here. There we go. We're back over on this side. We do, I believe, have Poland pushing up a little bit, at least close enough to where they are opening fire against the Prussian lines. We got the 13th Regiment of the line. Very cool uniforms. Oh man, look at these guys. The sound actually is really awesome now. <laughs> so that was my bad. <laughs> uh, but we got it fixed now and hopefully in future battles that won't happen again. Uh, but I, I just like how patient Poland is. I just still think like they need to like kind of push at this point because 
their allies over here, the British and the Russians, are having a tough time. Russia is going for a bold strategy, a massive infantry push, but they got to be careful here. They don't want to, you know, get their troops too exhausted, you know, clump them up too much. And there we go. Uh, the Russians have taken control of the three-point building, and that is going to... Oh, wait. Here we go. This is what Russians do best, apparently. Going in for a bayonet charge. Wow, that is loud. Oh. They're still technically fighting for this building. I think Austria sent in the first regiment of Emperor's Own to try to take it back. But this is going to be a bloody fight for control of this village. The intense gunfire over here. But Austria does appear... It does appear that Austria is going to win this fight. Uh, they're having to shoot through trees and long grass to hit these British. But they are getting contact. And they are weakening the British lines here as they form square. Why are they forming square? Oh, they're getting charged. That's why. And uh, they do hold their ground. But I don't know how much longer they can hold. They break their square formation. Unfortunately, they broke it too early as the Austrian cab was not fully destroyed yet or, um, you know, pushed back far enough. But I think the Austrian cab are going to fall now as we have another uh, line of British. We got the Highland, uh, Royal Highland Foot kind of opening fire and weakening that cab as they run, run by. So let's get a bird's eye view of everything. Austria is making great rounds here. They've butchered the British, but they still have to take care of the Russians, which are severely weakened after that charge. Now we have Poland finally going in. Finally, Poland is putting some pressure on the Prussian lines. But here's the thing, guys. The, the Polish are out in the open. Uh, the Prussians have a nice tree line. Which is going to give them cover. Look at the scene right here. Look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Great fighting going on here between both sides. This is a this is a cool mod. I think my assessment of this mod is pretty accurate. You know, like it's a it's a halfway between vanilla and NTW3. Maybe you feel like NTW3 moves too slowly and you like the way this game looks. It feels like vanilla, but yet there's uh, some realistic mechanics to it like uniforms and marching music and the sound and the smoke uh, but yeah Poland's falling back talk about utter nightmare utter nightmare for the uh, Russian British forces they have uh, they've lost many many lives trying to take these uh, important three-point positions or this one three-point position but also whoa hold on hold that thought Poland is going for a massive cab charge this is huge if they can take out this Austrian cap this might give them the edge against Austria More and more cab from Poland coming in, trying to gain control of these back lines. So we'll see how that plays out. And hey, good progress here. I think the artillery actually broke the land bear, which they are just land bear. They're not the greatest of units, but that always adds up. That always helps. Man, that artillery is something else. Oh my goodness. Poland is struggling. I thought for sure they were going to win this cat fight. But uh, it's still a close one. Whoa! We have artillery. Who's that coming from? I don't know. But that artillery, whoever that came from, did not help the Polish. And uh, I hate to say it. I really do, but that might be the nail in the coffin. Like, I think the British, Russians, and the Polish were really counting on that cab charge there because it would have been huge 
Look at this massive calf force falling flat, you know, falling back. They're like, flee! Retreat! Uh, but yeah, in the... Psh, the Austrians just are like, yeah, we just been standing here the whole time. <laughs> you know, like, they didn't even counter charge. They're like, yeah, we'll just stand here. You charge us, we win. Uh, so it would have been huge if they took out this cap because what would have happened is that the Polish infantry would have been able to pin down the Austrian infantry and that Polish cab would have been able to do hammer and anvil went after the general uh, it would have been a big issue for this Austrian infantry but it doesn't look like that's how it's gonna play out uh, you know the battle's not over um, by any means and here comes Austria oh this is kind of huge here this is kind of where Russia excels is close combat but I just feel like there's so many Austrian lines that the Russians aren't going to be able to hold um, hold back the Austrians. By the way, do we got any uh, Russian viewers watching right now? Uh, I don't know. It's always cool. I, that's why I always like uh, covering Napoleonic or yeah, no, Napoleonic battles is because people take a lot of um, pride in their nations. So it's very cool to see like. It could be a little weird at times because if I like, you know, I'm like, oh, so-and-so is not very good at this. And then, you know, someone will be like, how dare you say that about my country? And I'm like, well, I'm talking about the video game. I'm talking about the video game. Like, I remember I made a video about, um, it was like a Medieval 2 video uh, saying why gen uh, Janissary, um, Mercenary, gen uh, what were they called? Janissary... Uh Oh jeez, I'm I'm forgetting the <laughs> the name. It was that Turkish unit. Oh, what is it? Janissary? Yeah, like. Anyways, uh, I was critiquing the two-handed unit, and people were like, a lot of Turkish people were taking offense to it. I'm like, guys, it's <laughs> it's the video game. <laughs> Talking about the unit, <laughs> right? In a video game. Anyways, uh, let's let's keep going forward here. We're Poland has uh, started to advance upon the Austrians, and I, I kind of like what the Austrians are doing here. Um, they are kind of just buying time, falling back. I don't think they're going to fully retreat. I like how they've fallen back to this tree line. It might give them a little bit of cover here. Uh, all Austria needs to do here, and Prussia, because there is a little bit of Prussia, they just needed to, to hold back the Polish until the rest of their forces over here can push over in support. But this is still really close, guys. And we have Russian Grenadiers not willing to give this up. Oh, and we have... Oh, sorry about this, guys. Uh, we've got a couple... Well, we got one dead general. Um, whoa. Oh, man. This is kind of cool. The general took shelter inside this building. They got out of their... They, out of... Jeez. They dismounted their horses... Uh, but unfortunately, someone sniped out the British general, so they're now down a general. And yeah, we've, uh, it looks like, I think they've officially, yep, the Austrians have officially taken this building. They have pushed back the Russian grenadiers, and now the Hungarian grenadiers are most likely going to make their way. Oh, yeah, speak of the devil, we, well, these are Hung Hungarian fusiliers as they, uh, do a little Macarena line. Hey, Macarena. Uh, into this uh, this building here to try to wipe it out. The very cool stuff there, uh, but yeah, I think I, it's still far from over, guys. Um, and I don't know what this balance of power is even on about because it was like it's just all over the the Napoleon balance of power is just goofy. It's it's definitely glitched out. Uh, but yeah, Poland needs to win this single handedly. You know, and I look at it, I think. It's possible. I wish he didn't lose his cab like he did. Because that really puts him in a bad spot. But it is possible for him to take this this town. And if they can take this town, they might have a chance of winning. But it's, it's going to be an uphill battle for the Polish forces. Because they are the last ones that stand, essentially. And here comes more cab fighting over here. Austria fighting Poland. This is most likely a Polish a Polish unit that returned from routing. Here we go. And yeah, they're still fighting for this, and this most likely will be a um, 
Austrian victory as they clear out. I think they broke the general unit. Now that's all that's left are some Royal Highland foot, which are pretty tough, but I think they have it under control. And then here comes the reinforcements. So they, well, they didn't, <laughs> they didn't put a troop into this building. So I don't think they can count it for the three points, but I don't think it matters too much as long as they utterly destroy the, um, the Polish forces. Now this battle is almost over. So I don't know what kind of timer they're playing on. The battle is almost over. So all they have to do is hold on and take on this big Polish army. Austria very wisely using the tree line. It's gonna give them some nice cover. They are pushing up some Hungarian Fusa lines, Fus Fusaliers. Uh, they're going to try to get an angle on the Polish lines and kind of weaken them. Let's see, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, very good. Poland need. Poland might need to angle their unit to kind of mirror that that movement, but it's not doing anything. It might be uh, focused elsewhere, but I mean, it's a solid line of infantry. They're definitely doing a lot of damage here and it's gonna be close i mean poland has such a large army they still have cav too you would think that most of their cav is gone it probably is mostly gone well they might Ooh. what is what are these what is this this is like random horsemen going in oh yeah look at this lone hero he's like for poland ah he's going in man Already got himself a kill. Here comes the rest of his unit. Oh, but they broke. They broke. That was still a pretty uh, fairly successful cap charge. All right, nice play there by Poland. I'm not sure exactly how he caused this unit to break. Maybe he did a little charge there. I'm not sure, but that definitely made that issue of that little it was it wasn't like a side flank but it was a like 45 degree angle flank that was causing issues for poland but this unit is pretty depleted let's see okay they're recovering their morale a little bit let's see them back in action and what a fight here what a firefight just intense and then we got the uh, four units four units of polish legion moving forward this is good i like seeing poland very aggressive here because i think he knows he's got the edge here oh there we go big melee charge 2v1 that's huge now the general is getting closer i think he's going to use some general abilities i don't think he's going to actually charge in no he's going to charge in the mad lad is going to do everything he can to defeat poland i don't know i don't know about this Oh yeah, massive bayonet charge by Poland. This is good. This is really good. This is how he can rush down these Prussian forces. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> oh, Austria has some Austrian emperor's own uh, behind Polish lines. And ooh, Grenadiers are breaking, but they do recover as they make impact with the Hungarian Fusiliers. And unfortunately, uh, that is the battle. So, um... Yeah, it doesn't, I guess they played on a timer, but it was like a 35 minute timer or maybe a little bit more, maybe a 40 minute timer. Uh, I'm not really sure why they played on a 40 minute timer. I don't know if that's just the rules for um, this mod and this, because I've never played this mod. This is just me watching the replay. So if anyone's familiar with this mod, maybe you can explain some of the rules here because it's always different for different mods. But I think it's quite clear that, I mean, when you play with the timer, I mean, that's that's it. You know, that's that's the game. So, like, you got to fight for those points. And that's how NTW3 is. There's like an hour, sometimes an hour and a half timer where you've got to, whoever controls the points is victorious. So, um, yeah, this ends, it technically says draw, but this was a victory for Austria and Prussia as they were able to control the point uh, locations though they didn't put a unit in it 
So I don't know if that counts. <laughs> but uh, maybe the person who sent in this replay can explain or clarify. Uh, but here's all the players. So this was sent in by, I think, Boba? I think it's the player name, or it was the last Canadian. Um, nonetheless, I appreciate uh, this battle replay. Really good job by Russia here. I mean, they did a great job of wiping out one of those Prussian armies with intense melee charges, but it just wasn't enough as, as Austria did a great job of just, you know, maintaining and holding and, um, you know, keeping these important strategic locations on the battlefield. Um, now, what would have happened here with Poland? I don't know. I think Austria would have been able to come out on top, uh, but Pro Poland still looks pretty healthy here. So, And they still have all their artillery, though this would have been a big issue, this cav charging behind and um, most likely breaking a lot of units. So I don't think Poland would have won, but it would have been pretty close. Uh, so let's look at some of the unit stats here. I'll just kind of go through this fairly quickly. You can pause it. Um, this is one of the Prussian armies, and I think that's that's all we're going to be able to see here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this battle. Uh, I, I think I have another replay for this mod, so we'll see what that, that one's all about. Uh, and maybe we can get some more cool battles. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.